Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my little corner of the YouTube world where I share all about my knitting, crocheting, and crafting adventures. Today is Wednesday, October 7th and instead of a normal podcast episode this week, I have all of the yarn right here beside me that I am going to be taking for different projects throughout the process of our move to Ohio so I thought it would be fun to go through all of those with you. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady, and I will have links down below to everywhere that you can find me. It'll be right down below this video in the down bar, as well as I will try to link all of the shops, the yarns, all of that stuff that I chat about. So we leave, let's see, it is the 7th, that is Wednesday. We leave a week from tomorrow. So we leave October 15th to fly to Ohio. And our stuff will be packed up this coming Monday the 12th. So I've started today, I caked up all of the yarn, I still need to get project bags, notions, all of that together. But I've really been thinking about how many projects am I going to need? I have caked up way more yarn than I will knit with that entire time. Anytime I go on a trip or anything, I always think I'm gonna have more knitting time than I do. And that will be the case this time, I know but I would rather have too much than not enough. So let's go through what I have caked up this morning. First, I caked up this ginormous, I don't have the tag down here, I think it's over there, this huge skein of yarn. This is 17, no, yes, it is 1,750 yards of fingering white yarn. It is a Katahdin is the name of the base. It is from Miss Babs and the colorway is Catherine. I love it so much. So I caked this up to do my Christmas sweater. It's going to be a beaded sweater with these. I think that's going to look great. I talked a bit about this on podcast episodes. I had purchased a book from, I think it's by Sarah Dallas. It was like vintage knits. And I was gonna do a beaded sweater out of that, just make some adjustments to it, make it long sleeve, not cropped, all of these things. Well, I finally got around to reading the pattern and it was bottom up seamed and beaded. And I was like, that does not sound like something I want to work on while we're moving. <laughs> I know a beaded sweater may not be the most relaxing thing to work on anyways, but I thought that won't be as bad, just a beaded, like a top-down basic sweater, but to have to do it bottom up and seamed and then making the adjustments, I was like, forget it. So I'm just going to see what happens. I'm not gonna be following that pattern. I like how they did the bead spacing, so I may, look and see how they did that. But then I may just piece together other bits of sweaters that I like, or I may just completely wing it and see what happens. But I'm gonna do a top down raglan sweater. Um, I want to do long sleeves. I think this should be plenty of yarn. Obviously if I get to the sleeves and I'm not quite sure, I'll do, you know, a little bit shorter of sleeves. But I think that this will be enough. And I'm debating it is just one skein. Normally I would alternate skeins in a sweater. So I'm debating on splitting this and then alternating the skeins. We'll see what happens. I may do that today before I put it in the project bag. But that is the first thing that I have ready to go. The second thing is all of the yarn for my Stephen West mystery knit along. Don't know that I can hold them all up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go, I got it. So I have all of these yarns for the Slip Stravaganza that starts this Friday, October 9th. This will be my first Stephen West Mystery Knit Along. And the yarns are all from Wild Star Fibers. I'll go through the colors. I have already shown this on a podcast episode, but we will run through the colors. So this is date night. Let's 
This one is Surf. This will be the main color. There's two skeins of that. Um, this one is It's Been a While. And where is the other? I don't know where the other thing is. I think it's over there. This is Shooting Star number 061, I believe. If that's not correct, I'll put it here on the bottom of the screen. I thought I grabbed all the tags, but I apparently did not. So I have all of that ready. I have to get 54 stitch markers ready because I'm pretty sure that's what the pattern says is 54 stitch markers. So I'm going to have quite a few notions to prep for that one, I feel like, because that's a whole other thing with moving. I won't have just all of my notions, which are like right back here. I have to make sure I have everything I might need um, in my project bags. So quite a bit to think about. Now we're gonna get into socks, which is where it's just like, how much knitting time do you think you're really gonna have? <laughs> I have a pair of socks that I'm gonna work on for Wyatt. This is yarn from, it's Candy Coated Yarn by Crafty Mama Designs. There's her label. And the colorway is Freddy. I can't remember if she sent this to me before last Halloween. I think that's when it was, but it's Freddy Krueger inspired. It's a mini skein and a full skein. So Wyatt loves red. He's not really into scary movies um, at all. He's like me, he doesn't really like them, but he loves red. So I thought he would really, really appreciate these. So I'm gonna work on a pair of socks for him with those. Then I have a skein of yarn from Blush Yarns in the Falling Leaves colorway. You guys have voted a while back. Um, I had had you guys put comments down below which one I should do first and Falling Leaves won. It was like by a crazy amount. So I am going to do some socks out of Falling Leaves. Oh, and here's Natalie's label. And I grabbed this leftover bit. I can't remember who the yarn is by, but it was from my Wild Heart sock pattern. So I'm going to use that for heels, toes, something, because I thought that would look pretty. So those will probably just be for me. And I still have two more pairs of socks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, the next one is a pair of socks that I'm going to work on for Eric. I have had this yarn in my stash for forever. When I was, as you can see, normally, I'm actually sitting on the floor right now. So normally I'm up a little higher and all of that is full of yarn. Um, when I was putting all of my stash into Ravelry and bagging it up, I found so many things that I forgot I had. That it's like, oh my gosh, I bought that for this project or to make this for that person. So this I had bought to make socks for Eric ages ago, I think. And it is by Lion Brand Yarn in its Sock Ease. And does it have a color name? No, but it does have a number. It's number 203. And it's a 75-25 base. 75% wool, 25% nylon, 100 grams. So Eric's gonna get a pair of socks out of these and I grabbed just this leftover bit of yarn from, mm, I can't remember, Socks for Dad maybe. I'm trying to be mindful about leftovers and grab them to do heels and toes or cuffs or something. So that's why you're seeing a lot of these <laughs> little bits of yarn. Okay, the last, <laughs> Pair of socks that I have caked up yarn for is this month's Yarnable Box colorway. So if you have not opened your Yarnable Box yet, you may not want to look if you don't want to um, ruin the surprise. But I didn't have time to do a Yarnable unboxing this month. And when I saw the color, I was like, I need to do socks with that this Halloween. It's the October box, so it has very spooky Halloween-y theme to it. So this is by Hypnotic Yarn, 
and the colorway is Seance. Look how perfectly Halloween that is. It had to be socks right away. This is on her plush sock base. Um, and the Yarnable box, I'll put a link down below. They are, I believe next month is when they're gonna open back up for new members to sign up. It's a subscription box where you can get one or two skeins of fingering weight or one or two skeins of DK weight. You can customize it. And then you always get extra little goodies, coupon codes for hypnotic yarn, lots of fun stuff inside of the box as well. So I'll put a link down below. You can sign up now to be notified when subscriptions will open back up. So if you're interested, you can head over and check that out. But I grabbed this fun green to do heels, toes, cuffs, I don't know, something. Probably just heels and toes. I'm feeling very into doing just heels and toes and then having the cuff be the main collar. So I think that's what I will do with that. I am not sure. This is from Roots Run Deep. I think it's funny that all three, I'm pretty sure, are from sock patterns. I think this was Roots Run Deep when I designed that. Is that it? So I'm obviously going to take some dish cloths as well. I have not decided I need to go through that yarn, pick out which ones I want and decide how many I want to take. And then I can always throw a couple little things in the car with Eric if it's like, okay, that's way too much <laughs> for my suitcase and I will not need those before he gets there. Then I can toss those in the car with him when he leaves um, to drive. So that's what we're looking at so far. Now it's time to dive into here and into here and get all of the notions ready and then pack these things up. And then my office is pretty much done. I have to pack up knitted sweaters, shawls, socks, anything that's in the cabinet down here. I have to bag those up and I need to get one more tote to put that kind of stuff in and then the office is done. So I will be very excited and feel very prepared when all of my knitting is ready because to me, that's the most important thing because it's gonna keep me calm and all the crazy, right? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little peek into seeing what I am taking to work on while we are moving. I'm still going to try to do vlogs here on the YouTube, but the podcast will be on a bit of a hiatus until probably sometime in November. So check out the vlogs. They'll probably be weekly vlogs that are put up. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you do not already, the crazy sock lady over there. That is where you're going to be kept the most up to date on progress on these projects and what is going on day to day throughout this. That will definitely be the place to keep up to date. So thank you guys so much for checking out this little video today and I will see you guys again soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.